like this. You can see that Ursula is doing it on the deck, Jamie's doing it in the water. You get an animal that's more comfortable staying in the water, you can still have access to their body that way. And as I said, most of the behaviors that we train allow us to take better care of the animal. We like them to participate in their own health care. Some of the things that we train are toothbrushing, so that we can take care of their teeth and gums. Uh, administering eye drops. We found that a lot of times older animals develop the same issues with their eyes that we do as we age. Cataracts and glaucoma are not uncommon. And if the animal is comfortable with receiving eye drops, and they um, then uh, have an age-related issue, they're already accustomed to getting that eye drop. We can keep them comfortable and maintain their eye health in that way. Here. Something else is very important to the fur field is grooming. As I mentioned, that fur coat is pretty luxurious. It's actually 300,000 hairs per square inch. That's pretty thick. And so it's very important for them to maintain it in a good fashion. And you can see the fur coat is grooming. They spend a great deal of their day doing that grooming behavior. I've been trying to capture that with JD. First, we get a little shake. That's a good girl. That gets most of the water off the coat. And then let's see if we can encourage you to do a little groom. Groom. A little groom. That a girl. You can see that with those very long, tiny flippers, they can actually get that flipper up over the back of their head so that they can groom the top of their head with that tiny flipper. You see that Earth was doing that. And Ursula is also showing you the various ways that she has learned different behaviors. She was actually mimicking Belinda's movement of the head back. Animals learn through mimicry. They can learn mimicry from a person or from another animal. Another way that they're taught again is with that targeting and slow approximation. This would be one of the ways that I would manipulate the body to get that head back position. Good. I would keep reinforcing each step along the way, making it, making her bend a little bit further and further, so we got the finished behavior, or got the position that we wanted, and then we just pair it with a signal every time we ask for it. And soon that signal means to them, go ahead and put your head back. 